What's going on guys, Super Savage uh, 789 here, bringing you guys another video And today we're doing the last part of what if Goku turned Super Saiyan in the Saiyan Saga Now if you need a quick recap In the Saiyan Saga, the Kienzon, a Krillin through a Nappa Was chucked it back at him and subsequently, the Bold Dwarf was murdered This caused Goku to spark the Super Saiyan form much earlier And kill Nappa on Namek, Goku easily dispatched a freezer as Vegeta and him made quick work of the armed forces. Then, on Earth, the androids arrived, and, since they were more stronger than in canon, they killed Vegeta. Moving on, Cell managed to get his semi-perfect cell form before Super Saiyan 2 Gohan finished him off of ease. During the seven years, everything was peaceful, but until when Bobbidi arrived and took over Piccolo, making him turn evil once again. Now Super Boo has absorbed him and is facing down a weakened Vegeta, Goten and Trunks. Trunks, I will tell you again. You and Goten leave now. I don't want you two to die. No, Dad, we can do it. Vegeta realises that his two kids are in danger as Boo sits there chuckling, telling Vegeta how he'll kill them with a smile on his face. He lets out a scream in rage and turns on to a Super Saiyan 2, not wanting anything to happen to his blood. So you still have some fight left in you. <laughs> Very well then, I'll be happy to kick it out of you. Boo chuckles, and then he rushes at Vegeta, punching him hard. With just a couple of blows, Vegeta lays on the ground damaged. A Super Saiyan Goten and Trunks rush at Abu, and they're easily battered away by the Dijin as he sits there chuckling knowing that his power is way beyond any of theirs. Vegeta knows that he can't let his family die, and so he stands up, puts all his energy into an attack. Trunks, run now! But Trunks isn't listening. He starts fighting Boo, just trying his best, but ultimately failing. And so Boo simply chuckles one more time, and then he fires a candy beam straight at the boy. Before Trunks can do anything, he turns into chocolate. And eaten. Goten understands the grave danger he's in and tries to fly away, but Boo turns around, blasts him, and Goten falls to the ground in base form, damaged. Then, with a grin on his face as well, Boo walks up to him and candy beams that child for eating him. Vegeta stands there, aghast and enraged. You bastard! Vegeta yells, using a final flash, full power. Boo turns around and sees the blast rushing towards him faster and faster, and grins as he stands there, and then fires a Makonko Sapo straight at the blast, piercing straight through it, hitting Vegeta through the gut and out of his back, creating a huge explosion behind him. Vegeta spits up blood as he falls into his base form, onto the ground, gasping for air, but barely getting any. Boo jumps over to the bleeding out Vegeta and looks at him, smiling. Now he finally managed to kill Vegeta. He wants him. Vegeta is going to die any second, and both Boo and Vegeta know this. We can't let you die now, can we, Vegeta? Considering how strong you are. No, I have a special place for you. Boo places a hand on Vegeta's forehead. It's going to be all right, Vegeta. You shall forever live within me. Then, Boo uses his body and absolve Vegeta. As steam surrounds his body, he becomes Vegeta. Yes! Now that I have Vegeta, time to rid this planet once and for all. Boo raises his hand up and creates a huge planet buster in his hand. Knowing that he can destroy the planet, there's no one left to oppose him. He tosses the ball at the planet, and just before it hits, Ka me ha me ah! A huge blue blast rushes out of darkness. Boo turns and sees the blast, hits Planet Buster, and sends it flying back into the cosmos, where another unfortunate planet will have to take the brunt of the blast. Gohan leaps out from underneath some trees, knowing that now, with his new power-up, he can maybe fight evenly. Boo grins. He knows that Gohan isn't a challenge for him, and so he starts to mock the boy. Come on, if your master did nothing to me, what do you think you'll do? 
Gohan grits his teeth and clenches his fist. That bastard, he's no master of mine. I'll kill you, Boo, and avenge my brother. Gohan lets out his white aura and rushes at Boo, punching and kicking him and amusing Boo. I see you're quite strong now, but unfortunately it's not enough. Who powers up himself, kicking Gohan and sending him to the ground for placing a hand on his head, creating a key blast. Of course, Gohan manages to just barely dodge it because he's Gohan, but it still hits his arm and leaves him out of commission. Oh, I'm sorry, Gohan. I guess you weren't a challenge after all. Now you shall meet the same fate as your brother. Boo's tendril starts to bend towards him. Gohan knows that he won't be able to dodge this attack, and so he should just use all his energy now. Before the beam hits, however, it slightly moves to the right. This confuses Gohan as he decides that he can't sort of think about it. He needs to attack now. He leaps at Boo, knees him in the face. Boo blasts Gohan away, and then tries to finish him off by using a barrage of key blasts. For some reason, his hands, they go upwards, and he shoots the sky. What's going on in Boo's body? It's weird. Gohan's quite confused as well, and so he keeps attacking Boo, not wanting to hold back. He keeps going, and Boo keeps missing his attacks, or weakening them. It's really weird. Why is he doing this? Why? Then, Gohan starts to piece it together. A voice appears in Gohan's head. A familiar one, but one that he's not exactly happy to hear from. Gohan, it's me. I managed to retain some of my mental state. I'm helping you out from inside here. Piccolo? That's right, Piccolo managed to just remain consciousness, using all of his pride and the hatefulness that he has towards Son Goku. He knows he couldn't give up now, but we were absorbing him, showed him his ways were wrong. I'm sorry, Gohan. I realize what I've done is wrong. I can never be forgiven, but now I have to help you. Save everyone. Attack him now. Piccolo tells Gohan. Gohan nods at. He rushes at Boo. So I to attack him. Boo bats him away. You're no match for me. I'll just kill this Piccolo fellow. That's right. Boo manages to hurt him. He releases the sack that Piccolo is in. Piccolo drops out. Confused. Boo's energy drops slightly. But not very much. Piccolo was essentially there for the brains. And now Boo's left there, prideful. Inside of Boo's body, Boo starts to fight Piccolo, as on the outside he starts to fight Gohan, which starts to distract him, as either one, both of them manage to get a couple hits in, where they usually wouldn't. But Boo is stronger than both of them. Boo rushes at Piccolo and places a hand on his gut, releasing a huge blast and obliterating the Namekian completely. This then gives Boo the opportunity to start wailing on Gohan, Gohan is pinned to the ground with one hand as Boo keeps pummeling into his face with the other. Now there's no way he can escape. Blood starts to drip from Gohan. Is this the end? Does the world gonna fail just because he couldn't be strong enough? No, it can't be. It can't be! Gohan lets out a huge scream and releases a huge white aura as he blasts Boo off of him. I won't let you destroy my world! Gohan yells, firing a Kamehameha his remaining arm. He blasts Boo, but does nothing. Very well, Son Gohan. You shall die now. Boo fires a blast at Gohan. Suddenly, something happens. Gohan has vanished. Then, Gohan appears right behind Boo and kicks him, not hesitating. Gohan, we don't have much time. Put this on the right ear. Before Gohan questioned how his father is alive, he doesn't hesitate. Puts the earring onto his right ear, trusting his father. Goku smiles and says, Thank you. And the two fuse. Out of bright light, a new figure appears. Gokon leaps out from the light, stands on a car, smiling. All right! Then he releases a white glow from his body, as he knows what he has to do. He rushes at Boo and starts punching and kicking him around, not wanting to hesitate as he blasts Boo around easily. Gohan's seriousness staples down what he has to do, and so he keeps attacking Boo. Although he still has Goku's enjoyment of the fight, he still wants to take down Boo as fast as possible. He thinks for a minute, what well, if he goes inside of Boo? That would be an easy way to get Vegeta out. 
but on second thought, no more with the Dragon Balls. Goodbye, Boo. Gokon yells as he kicks Boo in the air. Boo fires a final flash at Gokon, saying that he won't lose, but Gokon fires a father's son, Kamehameha, straight towards Boo. The blast hits with the final flash, and the two get into a beam struggle as the final flash slowly goes in on Gokon. Oh no, whatever will I do? Sigh. Gokon releases some of his energy, and the huge Kamehameha completely obliterates the final flash. Boo looks in horror as a huge blast hits him and engulfs him and vaporizes him. Gokon smiles, and suddenly the earrings start to shake, and then shatter. Goku is confused. How did the earrings break? But now's not time to ask them questions. Teleports Namek and wishes back Dende, subsequently Shenron. And then he wishes back Vegeta. And then with Shenron, rushes back everyone else. And this is where I'm going to leave it here. I see no point in covering Super in this timeline, as I don't think anything would change. If you think of a change, let me know. No change I can think of was Goku not in Super Saiyan 3, and no Majin Buu. But Beerus would still get angry. Goku would still fight him. He just won't know about Super Saiyan 3. So, yeah. But uh, anyways guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Um, if you want to suggest a video for next time, um, you can do. I'll probably start a new one for next week. But uh, yeah, bye!